Good morning, afternoon, evening, people of Tableau, people of the internet, people of Alteryx, people of all data lovers, business intelligence folks. Hello to everybody. I've got something that I've got to confess. If you've been following, then you know this already, but um, I've not been practicing what I preach, folks. Um, we are obviously, um, I'm a little behind on the videos. If you're watching this late, if you're not doing this in Tableau November, awesome, don't worry about it. This is the week two recap. And I will lean forward and talk about what we're gonna do in week three. In real time here in November of 2023, it is already like the end of week three. So I'm woefully late with this and I'll tell you why. I have not been living the principles that I said I was gonna live up to when I started this challenge. This has become a bit consistent. Now, the reasons why, not really your concern. A um, lot of stuff to do at work. Hours have been crazy. Uh, one night I taught a class in Hong Kong about machine learning. The heck do I know about machine learning? So various and sundry reasons for my failure, but it is my failure. Um, so I forced myself to kind of go back, figure out, hey, what, what did I do wrong here? Give you a couple examples. Uh, principle number two, focus. How about that? Um, yeah, I've been allowing the, the busy and the distractions to keep me from doing even uh, kind of the bare minimum when it comes to creating content, doing this challenge. Principle number one right there, meta learning. Making a plan, learning about learning, making, making a plan for content, a plan for daily learning. So I've been doing some of the daily learning not nearly as much as I said I was going to do. It's all right. This was a learning challenge for me. The first 30 days we did Alteryx, I know Alteryx quite well. Um, this second 30 days is on a topic I don't know nearly as well, so I need to actually learn it myself, not just sit here and make uh, fun videos for people that are learning it. And yeah, I've, I've fallen behind. But today as I'm recording this, it is November 18th. We have 12 days left in the challenge, in the month, and I'm determined to make up for lost time, but really just be where I am right now, make the most of this last 12 days, and then in that following week, that first week of December, ace this test, still all to play for. All to play for, as the Brits say. Um, so, okay, this is going to be maybe the, the worst YouTube, I, I won't say that, I've made some terrible YouTube videos before. This is not gonna be a particularly good one, because I had all sorts of things to do last night. I meant to do the video last night. I had all sorts of things to do today. And I did the things that I had to do this morning. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to sit down in the chair and hit record. And we're going to see what happens. So I haven't really set much up. These are my notes right here. You can see, yeah, not, not much there. But, okay, all of the, all of the kind of mea culpas and apologies and, and BS aside. What are we here to talk about? Those, those of you that don't care about me personally, just want to get some value out of the video, let's get down to brass tacks. The week two recap. What did we do in week two of the challenge? Well, the start of week two, we announced that 365 Data Science was giving us two free weeks of their whole platform. Now, it is not, I will tell you for people not doing this during Tableau November, they do this offer once a year, 365 Data Science is not an expensive platform. At the end of this, I'm gonna, I plan to do a video about doing this. Right now, I'm, I'm doing all this for free. At the end of the challenge, I want to do a video about doing it on a budget. And so what can you get with a free download for a week or two? What can you get with like an intro offer? Um, what is the, if you want to subscribe to a platform for like a month to try it out, what does it cost for that? And I really think you can get it with the test fee of $100 and with the, you know, using a couple of platforms, you can probably get this training plan that I'm advocating done for less than 200 bucks. That sounds good to you. Awesome. If not, I will definitely, um, I, I may also do a video of like all evergreen free content. So all YouTube based stuff, uh, simply learn is, is a free platform, at least for like the first couple of months. So we'll, we will do that. I'll do a free version. I'll do a kind of, hey, if you've got a budget of, you know, hundred bucks for learning platforms, how to do that. But let's get right into the, the week two recap. 
So let me, and as, as I'm totally unprepared, I haven't even brought up the other screen, entire screen right there, pretty visuals. Okay, that's not what I planned to show first. Come on, Alt-Tab. Oh boy, off to a bad start. Bad day for Team Bellamy here. There we go. Okay, so that screen looks weird as heck, but all right. So what do we do in week two? Well, I completed, sort of, the Intro to Tableau course. How is it? Um, th this is honestly, if you're doing the, the things that we've talked about, the, the initial parts may be a bit redundant with this course because we've done kind of this Intro to Tableau thing a couple of times already. Um, I went through, you know, there was a Udemy, a Udemy slash Maven Analytics course that we did to kick it off. That was a kind of zero to hero intro to Tableau course. We did a, we did a Simply Learn course for a little bit that was similar. Um, you know, we did some Alex Freeberg Tableau videos, very, you know, kind of here's how to download it. Here's how to do columns and, uh, and rows. And, um, so we're kind of hashing through the beginner stuff over and over. That is by design. It may get a little dull for you, just hearing Ned Krastev explain how to go zero to hero with Tableau, and then hearing uh, Alex Freeberg, and then hearing um, who was the one in Maven. Anyway, um, Dustin Cabral, hearing them kind of all explain the same concepts, uh, sort of super basic building block stuff, you might get a little bored. Um, if you do, hey, so, sorry about that. Um, skip ahead, take the test early, um, just whenever you feel ready. But what did I think of this course? I thought this course was uh, was Hi, excellent. Everyone. And I'm Ned, and I'll be your instructor. There you go, Ned Kocrest. Um, I, I thought this was an excellent course. I think I liked the the Udemy, the Dustin Cabral course, a little better, just because I kind of liked their instructional style a little better. Um, they're both they're both very easy to follow. Their lecture style, their speaking style, uh, very very conducive to learning. Um, I have taken e courses with people um, that that aren't, and it becomes a distraction. But really good content, uh, really good. You're kind of I love the fact that he kind of teaches and and you apply it. Um, so, and so you're going end to end, which is really something that I stressed in this, uh, in this challenge, you want to go end to end. You want to download a data set. You want to pull it up in Tableau. You want to go through those reps because those are important. The, the, the technical reps of working in Tableau is important. And so I, I sometimes take a dim view of some of these other e-learning platforms that put you into a controlled sandbox and they have you in their kind of canned environment. I think you'll lose something learning wise doing that. Love the fact that this is, you know, it's not, there is no 365 data science sandbox. It is, hey, have 365 open on this screen and have Tableau Public open on this screen and you're, you're watching and working at the same time. It's exactly what I did. This is a super manageable length. Um, all told, it was probably um, four to six hours worth of work. Uh, I did not take a lot of very good notes with this. You can see right here, um, it is it is incomplete. Now, I did the project, which we'll go over real quick, and I've got a I've got a question for the audience out there, um, which we'll talk about. But did the project? I have not yet done the exam. Um, I just haven't but put the time in to do it. But you see, you know, it's cool how 365 and a lot of e-learning courses, uh, platforms do this now. They sort of gamify things. So you got a level, you've got experience points, you got these little coins that you can use for stuff. You get um, you get little cards. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, they're in here somewhere. Um, yeah, so if you go to, let's go to my profile. Yeah, so you get these little mathematician and, and scientist cards. That's kind of cool. But um, yeah, highly recommend this course. I recommend it to people do going through this, um, going through this challenge. At the end, yeah, if you're not doing it in November, at the end, I'll definitely tell you what's the best way to get, if you're doing a month, a 30-day challenge, what's the best way to get 365 data science? Um, most economical, you can 
You can probably get it for a month and, and spend, I don't know, probably 30, 40 bucks on it. But I will talk about the assets required and, and how to access them affordably. But right now it is still free until Monday morning. So I'm planning to push through and do some more, but let me show you the project that, uh, that was built during this class. So it's a dashboard, um, five elements to the dashboard. There is, so I built it on my kind of extra wide monitor downstairs. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me see if I can, let's go fit with, there we go. Nope. <laughs> of course not. Anyway, um, so I'm showing my desktop tablet. No. Default standard. All right. Um, no worries. I'll figure out how to. So I'm on my kind of portable monitor upstairs in the, the kids game room. And uh, but see, uh, built a, a filter here where you can filter by the post subtype. Um, take some of these off. It's uh, creaking a little bit, but, but so it filters everything, but this newsfeed user engagement, that was a requirement of building it. Um, yeah. So anyway, you've got, um, you've got social media posts of certain types, you know, level course certificate collection kind of seems to relate a little bit to, um, to 365 data science themselves, you know, people posting about courses and whatnot. Um, the one thing, so a question I had for the audience and, you know, maybe I should kind of do the, the Reddit thing or the, uh, the stack overflow and like just loudly proclaim the wrong answer and wait to get corrected, but I'm going to be nice about it. This one right here. So this element posts and likes, come on, slow mojo. There we go. Um, I could not figure out how to, uh, fix the size of these bars. You can see that they're. You know, if I go all the way max, they only get that wide. Um, and I looked at the course and I looked at kind of what, um, what we did. If I, if I put the some number of posts onto, if I put that onto size, let's try that. It like, you know, it sizes them according to the, the volume and that's not what I want. Yeah. So if anybody knows how to fix that, um, cause I want these bars to be a little bit wider, but I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how to accomplish that. And I feel like I followed the instructions perfectly. And so we did a great call with some of the participants in Tableau November last week, wanted to do another one this week. It just, the, the schedule in life didn't, uh, wasn't conducive to that. So we will do another one soon. Those of you do in Tableau November, uh, on schedule in the month of November 23, you know, love you all. I, I need to do better by you in the last 12 days here. Um, respond to your messages on, on LinkedIn. I've been terrible at LinkedIn as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to correct that as well today before these college football games get kicked off in about an hour. But um, yeah, if you've got a suggestion, drop it in the comments. How do I, how do I fix these bars? How do I get these bars wider um, without attaching them to the size uh, or the volume of the sum of posts. Um, if anybody's done this project, let me know. So yeah, we tried to figure it out on that call, but we kind of ran out of time on our free Zoom call and um, didn't get it done. So so there's that. That is what I did in week two. Completed that course, did this project. Yeah, about, about five, six hours of work, I think. Um, but I'm pretty proud of that. And I'm going to post this. I've not posted this yet on LinkedIn. Today, I will post this project on LinkedIn. Look for feedback there as well. I'm sure that the uh, the audience will be quite responsive. So, if you have questions about that course, if that's something you're considering taking, obviously the you know we've only got a couple days left on the 365 free offering. So if you didn't know about that before, it may be too late to to really get in on it and do anything with it. But um, 365 is absolutely a platform that I recommend. It's um, you've got all these other courses where you can integrate Tableau with SQL, uh, Tableau with Python. And so what I plan to do um, is I'm going to, I'm trying to remember which one I was going to do. 
Uh, so I'm going to choose between these two, SQL and Tableau. Or the, so I suppose these, yeah. So this one's quite long. I'm not, um, I'm not going to invest in that for certainly for this weekend. I'm traveling for Thanksgiving, so I plan to crank out some content and I'm going to release that piecemeal. I've got a couple other topics I want to talk about, but I'm going to do one of these two class slash projects, customer churn analysis with SQL and Tableau. I find customer churn analysis to be quite interesting. So that is probably the one I'm going to go with. This one here, SQL and Tableau also looks uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, all right. My deadline is uh, almost my wife's birthday. Anyway, um, so that is my plan for week three, i.e. right now I've got three days left in week three, um, but I should be more uh, forthcoming with the plan for week four. It's the last full week we have. It is Thanksgiving week. So, uh, you know, take that into consideration how much focus I'm going to put in per day. And also Saturday is the Ohio State the game against the team up north. So I probably will not, unless I get my Tableau in first thing in the morning, I'm not going to be in any condition to study that day. Um, win, lose, or draw. They don't draw anymore in college football. All right. Um, that is about all that I wanted to talk about today. Yeah. So just moral of the story. I have been, yeah, I've been not adhering to my ultra learning principles, but, you know, more so kind of near and dear to my heart, I've been letting the perfect be the enemy of the good. And what I mean by that is there is value in just showing up. There is value in sitting down in the chair and making content that isn't perfect. And on Thursday, I had the opportunity to go to Fayetteville Technical Community College uh, about two and a half hours down the the road from here and speak to them about number one about my career journey coming out of the military into data analytics there's a lot of military there it's fort liberty the army base formerly fort bragg and i spoke to them about what was the secret sauce for me why did i succeed on building a network on a brand on doing well on linkedin and the biggest thing that i came to was i'm willing to be imperfect in public and not a lot of learners, especially in the data industry, are willing to do that. And so this is why hey, it's, it's, it's a fundamental principle of my ultra learning journey. It's a fundamental principle of the way that I learn well and the way that I succeed in public. Show up every day, put in the time, and be imperfect in public. So I ask you, hey, critique my video style, whatever, critique my speaking style, I'm, I'm good for that too. Please, please, please look at my dashboard and tell me how I can improve it. Now don't, don't bitch about the colors. I just took the colors that they suggested in the project. Originally I had some kind of circus multicolors and, and they had you kind of tweak it to make it all sort of shades of blue and gray, whatever. But tell me what I could improve on that. I'm all ears. And I will post not only the project, but this video I will link to on LinkedIn. Um, I'm becoming a bit more, more ad active on Twitter X. Uh, that is part, also part of the problem why I'm not getting a lot of video content out because I'm obsessing over the Jim Harbaugh debacle that's happening at Michigan right now. If you are a Michigan fan, <laughs> I'd love to say I'm sorry, but Michigan fans are so insufferable that I'm just, I'm kind of enjoying it, but whatever. Um, anyway, I hope that you enjoy the content. Let me close out. Yeah, there's the project. Do, do, do. All right. Remove that from the stream and you get all me and my scarlet and gray t-shirt. Um, absolutely. If you are in Tableau November, comment below. I am going to put out content probably Monday morning talking about the thing that I promised, how you can get me to pay for your Tableau desktop specialist test. You've got to go back. You've got to comment on the videos. You've got to produce content yourself. You've got to put your stuff out there on Tableau Public. Lots of people doing that. I want to see more. Post your Tableau Public links in the comments of this video. I will follow you. I will like everything that you post. It's just what I do. I engage with people uh, on the interwebs and in person, it seems like Thursday. So um, I've run my mouth plenty. Folks, I appreciate 
your attention and your time. I hope that you're getting something out of this challenge. Let me know how we can do better. I will see you again in a day or two with another video. And with that, there's nothing left to say, but follow me folks, and I'll make you a genuine Tableau hero just like me.